not paying so much attention And when you're moving in another direction Don't worry, I can't Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Dawn. Later on, you're going to see Dave and Joe as well. Um, I'm actually out of the car putting more stuff in up from this car boot sale in Gaywood. Um, it's very packed again, which is brilliant because it, some other ones have actually opened up now. So we didn't know how busy this one was going to be. Um, and we've already started buying and I forgot to start recording like you always do. <laughs> but yeah, we've got some really nice bits. Um, we've just got a trolley for a fiver. Um, and Dave's got some other bits and bobs, Joe's got some bobs, but as we always do, we'll give you a full later on. Um, so I'm going to take you around the car boot sale, hopefully meet back up with Dave, and perhaps Joe, but Joe's like on his own, so he's going on his own pace and I'm staying with Dave. So I'm going to turn you around guys so you can have a look. There is quite a lot here today, so that's good. Um, there is Cherry Tree and Glebe, Glebe just announced they were doing theirs today, but I think we're just going to stay on this one today, I'm not sure. But we'll see you later. We're going to find Dave. There it is. Right, as you can see, busy. Oh, and then right over there as well. Seen your boy yet? Okay. Oh, it's modern, isn't it? I don't know what it is, huh? It's unusual. I bet it's a lot of money, isn't it? Yeah, because it's your mate. Yeah, it's right. There you go. There's Joe. Oh, Joe's with us as well now. And there's Dave having a look. We just we were going to buy a truck. That little stool. I think I'll be walking home. There's big stuff going in. <laughs> Stall. Lights are still. Yeah. Hello guys, car boot number two. And the boys are trying to sort their trolley out. Right? Well, just the clippers, I just stand to one side, there's too many chiefs in this family. <laughs> I'll let them do it. So this is the Glebe one. We weren't sure if we were going to come to this one, but we decided to come up here anyway. So. It wasn't Wesley, but... No. We've just been really... <laughs> A lot of people at the other one, but it weren't that much, was there? No. Nah. Well, it all seemed the same oh, stuff, didn't it? Oh, we've got to stand back. Yeah. So yeah, so we're at Glebe. I'll turn you around and you can have a look in a minute. But we've got quite a good. Yeah. Every, there's a few people watching me for a call today, guys. <laughs> like a lot. Of, that one, there's someone over there who works here. He's just watched me. Someone else behind me is just watching me. That's quite funny. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to turn you around so I can show you. Here we go. So it goes from there, and then it goes all the way around here. Might as well walk up one side and come back down the other. It's all the way around there. So there's a lot of car boots. There don't seem many people. Well, there is sort of walking around, but it's still quite early for the seaside area anyway, isn't it? So let's see what we can find. Right guys, we're at car boot number three. This is Cherry Tree. And it's all the way around there. All the way there, and there's Jake. Quite a lot of people, uh, quite a lot of stalls this time around. Last week yeah. there weren't this many stalls, they're actually on the inside as well as the outside. Yeah, they're on this side as well. So that's interesting to see. Yeah, it was only a uh, 16 minute drive, I think, from... Yeah. Uh, from Hunt Stanton. From Hunt Stanton, so... 19 minutes. 19 minute drive. Oh, so that weren't too bad then. So yeah, so we're at number three now. So let's see what we can find on this one. Don't 
That's the reason these trousers. <laughs> Need to tie them up, Dad. Put a bit of rope around it. Hello guys, um, my name's Dave from DDJ Reselling. We've uh, been out car booting this morning, got a few bits and bolts, mainly all sort of old rusty dirty stuff that I like. But um, we just thought we'd show it with you, we've only just sort of brought it in from the car so we thought we'd share it with you and let you know what we've been up to. I think we went to three car boots in the finish, didn't we? We did, yeah, we went to Gaywood, uh, Glebe, which is up in Understand, and then Cherry Tree. Bacon and which will be usually good. We've got this um Crown and Merton or Crown Merton cassette case, storage case. It's a little bit scratch on it, mind you it all needs cleaning, but it is very scratch. But a bit unusual I thought. Anyway, that was that. Little old boiling can, Wesco. Uh, oh, I paid sort of 50p for that storage thing because I've got all these cassettes in it. So hopefully, they'll be they might sell for a few on or two. This was 50p. Uh, <laughs> this was all off the same store, actually. <laughs> I've seen this bloke for years, I've never. I didn't see him because he looked like he was going to be a lot of money so I didn't bother, which is stupid I know, but these were all for, these were 50 per each. Nice cap, nice clean cap. Um, is that 50 p It can't be all bad. A nice little uh, backpack. A canvas cap, that cap, sort of. Army um, style, yeah, can't be all bad. And then bought an old axe. Obviously, this will have to. We cut these off and just sell the heads. Mm. I do. So, oh, that was fifty. No, was that? I think that might have been a pound. Or oh, actually, it might have been 50p. Can't remember. We had a lot of money either way. And I've got these two, which are very heavy. Um, <laughs> got his table. <laughs> Apparently, this bloke's a skip driver, and he, um, when he went to clear this, some of the stuff that they'd pulled down this old factory, a pump house or something, these was, these was lying on the floor. So he picked them up and uh, because he thought they was nice looking. So he had a very Angus fire armour, it says on there. That's plain that one. You can imagine that one on a, that's still pretty big boy though. Mm. Nice though, like decorative. Yeah. Oh, fresh. There are people like that sort of thing. Um, cast iron frying pan, two pound. Oh, they was um, two pound for the pair, I think. Yeah. Typhoon, cast iron frying pan. I did look, there's, there's, there's quite a lot of. Typhoon griddle plates and things like that. I couldn't actually find a lot of uh, frying pan fish. I don't think it's done a lot of work. It's been lying about somewhere, but I don't, know. I don't think it's been used really. But there you are. How much on that one? Buggy bun. How much on that one? Did you uh, two, oh, two pounds on that one. So. I've got a couple of these because I always pick these up until I've got enough to bundle. This little Stanley blade. Well, these, these actually take the long pad 
saws sometimes. I think that is anyway. And then that one's the same. That's an Eclipse. And that's a Stanley. There's only 50p each, but I keep picking them up. <laughs> <laughs> then I've had this one of these before. I've had a few of these before, actually. Not in the best of condition, I must admit, but this was two pounds. Uh, just a little toolbox. What's it called? Talco? Uh, Talco, I think. Talco? Yeah. T A L. Whatever. We normally sell them okay. So, that's that. What else you got there? And this next? Yeah. That's one of the last things you got, I think, though. Yep, yes. Yeah. What a nice, uh, galvanised coal skull. Looks okay, I haven't found anything wrong with it. Bottom's all good on it and that, isn't it? The yeah. Base, no holes or anything, so. So, let's hope that's okay. And then. Pick these up really, just because they were there. I, I think they was a pound each. But, um, Batman. What are they like? Uh, this is Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird. They got, they got, um, T and Warner, 1998 Warner Brothers. They must be sort of original ones, aren't they? Yeah, I think they're pretty official. I think it's uh, this Wilton, whatever Wilton is now, if you make baked goods or something like that. Oh, okay. I think they like, well, that oh, one's right, Batman, yeah. that one's like Looney Tunes, that one's Looney Tunes as well. Bugs Bunny. They're quite good, they're like pretty detailed. They're pretty big, aren't they? Yeah. That's the sort of cake I'd like, I'd like mine. <laughs> yeah. <but. laughs> Now, hopefully, this looks like one of our star boys of the day. I can't see anything. I'm all <laughs> I always think there should be something wrong with stuff. I don't know. <laughs> um, pretty much what it says on the can, really. It's a, a step up stool kitchen. Stall, um, paid three pounds for that, and uh, we found some quite tasty comps, haven't we? Yeah, 40, yeah. 40 49 pounds and the, postage. The exact same one, isn't it? Like the exactly, colours. with this little, I don't know what this white bit's about on the back here, but it's a little grip for your foot, isn't it? Like, I don't know. I don't know if someone was stepping it down for you while you were climbing. I don't know, I don't know mate. I'm not sure, really. Possibly, yeah, I don't know. If anyone knows what you'd use that for, yeah, <laughs> drop a comment. <laughs> Plain brown envelope. <laughs> right, so. Yeah, so. I've, we haven't looked through these, but we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's 36 of them. Might be something in them, won't there? Yeah, definitely. There's got to be, isn't there? I think. Even if you sold them a quid a piece. <laughs> <laughs> Be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Alright, we'll get right. some other bits now. Yep, we'll have a clear up and get some more bits. Right, we've got this. Yeah, we've got this one this morning. Um, very, very clean little thing. Bamboo mirror. Um, I think we paid two pounds for that. So that was, um, we like the mirror. That was quite nice. Then we've got this big old toolbox. Um, not much you can say about it, really. It's quite nice on the inside. It is, yeah. No. It's, a, it's a nice old thing, isn't it? Hmm. I, can't really, I don't suppose you can see properly in this light, but I think they've got a bit of stain on the top there. Whereas these sides look uh, like plywood. Hmm. So. I don't know. How much you pay for that though? Oh, sorry, yeah, two pounds for that. Which I thought weren't too bad. No. We've normally done quite well with them in the past. 
I know these are all big bits and that, but we don't mind wrapping them up, do we? No, no, that's sort of our uh, thing, isn't it? Special, isn't it? Like, no one else would wrap it. Yeah, no one <laughs> else would wrap it, but we don't mind. You know, wrap it, it. I mean, the sale's a sale, isn't it, really, at the yeah, end of the day, definitely. so. And, uh, like, the man from the pet shop, he's been saving us some nice strong boxes and that, just lately. We'll go in there once a fortnight with a bit of chocolate for him. And... Yeah, <laughs> Rob. <laughs> <laughs> So, it's got even easier just lately. One stool for the use of. A little one. Uh, foreign. Foreign on the bottom. Made in foreign. Made in foreign. I think we've had these before. Um, and, uh, Get a few shillings for that. How much pay for that one? Do? <laughs> can't think. It's a couple of quid, I suppose. I can't I even think. think. It was either 50p or a pound because that was the guy you got off who had that other thing that you wanted. Oh, it was a pound, yeah, that's yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, got this one for a pound, I'll say, so I don't forget. Uh, quite a nice one. I like the texture of the wood. It's quite cool. I think it's oak. Ooh. So nice one. Can you see that there? Yeah, yeah. See that one? All nice and clean underneath. It's almost like a piano. Mm. Still, isn't it? The way it curves in yeah. the middle. Sort of I mean, beat dressing table or. I don't know. Anything you like. I fell backwards on it and tested it, didn't I? You did, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that was that. Pop this one down that way. You're in the way, dude. And this is the last one. We got um. We like these. All the. On the brakes work, I did try it then. Mm -hmm. Nice little bag bit. in there, little bit, pretty bits, bits in. It's all got to be cleaned and that, it's only picked yeah. up. Uh, it's nice, uh, you can't really see it too well on the camera on here, but the colour of it's really nice, isn't it? Like a meta almost like a metallic green, isn't it? Yeah. Like a, like an old Ford Capri colour. <laughs> Go so fast to strike on it, eh? For that in the title. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, that's, uh, that's that, there, really. This uh, Days one. Yeah. You've had a few of the Days, haven't you? Yeah, I think we gave a fiver for it, didn't we? Uh, yeah. And, uh, that should go all right. They normally go all right. And, uh, in theory, it should be easier than the three wheel one to wrap up. Hmm. Now you got that extra one trying to... No. And it ain't going to look like a sort of half pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's basically that. I know Joe's got a few bits, he's going to show you later. Yeah. And, uh... So we, we didn't spend a scumping great lot of money, but... We had a good morning, didn't we? Yeah, it was nice. It was nice to go to Glebe as well, something a bit different. Yeah, it was, uh, one, one... Hasn't been on for... Since the first lockdown, I think. Yeah. Uh, and then we went back out to Cherry Tree at the end. Just really because we was over that way, weren't it? And we cut through. Yeah, yeah. We weren't, we weren't too much for detour. And uh, there was still quite a few. They was packing up, weren't they? But Yeah. Yeah, there, there was quite a lot there. Like, I mean, I say on the video, it was like looped right round, weren't it? Like, it was even on the inside yes. like, for the car park. But then when we did our full lap, then everyone <laughs> had left, didn't they? <laughs> We, um, what about that um, house clearance bloke? He was packing up, wasn't he? Oh, I dropped oh, yeah. that, mate. Three pound a year, too. Oh, I'll give us your money. Yeah. And then you, he wanted five pound off for your thing, didn't he? Yeah, I was like, well, I was thinking two. And he's like, three. I don't know, two. And then he was like, two fifty. And I was like, oh, I'll, I'll give us your money. And then as I was walking away, he's like, go on then, two quid. So it's a little, a little haggling. <laughs> He just didn't want to put it back in his truck, don't Yeah, he? that's right. But, uh, 
No, no, a little, not a bad little old day. There should be a few shillings to be made, so keep the wolf from the door. <laughs> right, we're going to get on and get the, get the sponges out and get washing, I guess. Yep. See you there later. Bye. Right, guys, so you just saw Dad's little haul from today and all the car boots that we went to, so I thought I'll show you mine. Uh, I've got a variety of bits and pieces here, so I'll, you know, I'll just start with uh, start with this, because this is actually really cool. I should have finished with this, because it's one of the cooler bits that I got. But um, I picked this up because it was a pretty cool gun thing on the front, and I thought very nice, very fancy, a very fancy box. But it's actually a cigar box, and it's actually got this little thing inside it, talking about it, choice of egg, you know, that sort of thing. And, uh, yeah, I paid, well, I brought this, um, this, oh, hold on, I don't know if you can still see me, right, this, <laughs> this, it won't focus, but this, and something else as well, that I can't remember what it was, oh, that's outside, I'll show you that in a bit, but I paid £5 for the free bits, uh, but this is actually worth quite a, a, a nice bit of money, this flink lock cigar box um they're all over the place but like there's some 50s in there some 40s in there uh yeah it's an interesting little item it's very nicely made um it just needs a little sort of a light rub to get some of these little little bits off and maybe a dusting inside here a dusting inside here uh but yeah that's, that's really nice i also got this from the same person in the same bundle of stuff and uh, i'm not really sure what it, what it is for i think it's maybe for like jewelry or anything really, just a nice little holdall uh, wooden box thing, but I, I quite like it, it's nicely, again, quite nicely made, uh, yeah, it's pretty good, I like it. Then, I've also got this, which is a, uh, what's it, where, where, where is it, uh, Tuskers, it's this Tuskers elephant thing, um, I'll show you, I'll do a little clip afterwards of showing you what's inside, this is elephant Christmas thing, it's quite fancy, it's quite interesting collectible i've seen a few of them sell for some good money there's not really any of these christmas ones about uh, especially not in a box so that's that's good that's what we that's what we like to see uh i paid i bet tell you i paid five pound for this this is all like you know included right so it's this this um this this and this and this i think yeah so i got all that fiver which i was pretty pleased with and this one the on the other bits, which is nice Hot Wheels. Um, like you can store your cars in there, and this bit also pulls out to be a ramp, which is pretty cool. Uh, nice, you know, Hot Wheels stuff's always good, like, if you've got a good name, like Hot Wheels, anything. And I think it's quite an old, or well, not old, old, but like, pretty sort of older thing. Yeah, got that. Got these bellows, which are quite nice. Admittedly, yeah, they're, you know, they've got a little hole in them, but decoratively someone just wanted to hang them up which you can with this lovely hanging attachment you can and i think that's pretty cool yeah i like it it's got a little ship on the front quite fancy uh, i've got this firmus because it's firmus come on now it's an official firmus firmus and it looks pretty retro to me i don't know if it's got any uh doesn't have any years on it or anything like that but it looks pretty retro it's quite nice quite you know durable so got that and then this which i do really like this it's made it's plastic i think it's I think it's all plastic um but it's a little planter and it's just got this nice pattern on the outside this middle bit does come out uh, but yeah it's really nice i like it uh, and this camera as well, which is a Kodak uh, Color Snap 35. Uh, I don't know if it works, unfortunately, I can't uh, film test cameras myself because I don't really have the film for it, and it's quite pricey to film test things. So, I mean, if I had like a proper, proper good one, uh, then I'll definitely want to film test it. But yeah, I mean, again, this could be like a decorative piece. I'm not trying to sell it on Depop because they like a camera on Depop. They lock a camera a lot. Yeah, it does come with the bag, although the bag does have a bit of breakages in it, but I still put it in because, you know, someone might want that. So, let me show you next these two. Why not? Eh? 
paid 50 p oh yeah i've been telling the price enough it's just everything's been bonded but I paid 50p for the two and they're cheese graters well they're graters this one is it this one no this one's marks and spencers but this one is prestige which is pretty cool nice nice little ones uh this one's actually quite weighty this one's quite more modern -er. this one's quite more retro -er. yeah i like them and they're quite clean so that's pretty good also picked these up pound uh 50p each got some king dick spanners i love a king dick uh object an item a tool <laughs> if you will because uh, they're good they're good money i think i'm going to try and uh hold on to these till i get a couple more and put them together and do a bundle of king dick uh spanners because you do you do see them you gotta dig but you do see them i also picked this up which i think actually came in the other five the uh five or you know the firmness and things like that it's a it is a what side does it say on it is a got it upside down the open it the open it come on show it the open it yeah it's a interesting item that's why i picked it up but like interesting things yeah conversation start we've also got so, okay i'll show you these next bits because these these ones are quite interesting i got these from glebe they're little little tricycles little interesting metal wooden tricycles pay 20p for each try they actually move like you know quite nicely and i think they could be interesting little you know decorative pieces or doll's house stuff but yeah i thought 20p each that's not bad you know they're they're really they're really quirky items but yeah i got those i also got this from glebe as well now admittedly i feel like i think well i know it's missing a bit here uh, which does come out, uh, but you know, uh, I'll still try and sell it. You know, I'll still try and clean it up, clean up this part. Um, it's a footprint, uh, hand drill, which is pretty cool. I uh, sold a hand drill like this with like you know the little you know chest bit that you put up to yourself uh, last time from the car boot uh, for twenty quid. Uh, I don't think this one is as admittedly as good as that one because uh, I've looked at the prices and that, but it's still pretty good. And that was a pound I paid for that. So, all in all, not that bad with that one. It's quite nice. You know, obviously, like I said, needs a little clean. But yeah, pretty happy with that. I then picked up these two candlesticks, which are made of brass, I believe. Because you can see, see it sticking through there. And they've got like little bits of verdigris on it and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really nice. You can, you can hear that clank. And they've got this nice little sort of crackly wood effect to them. I'm pretty sure it's meant to look like that. Because you can't actually really feel it so i'm gonna put these on how they are because i think the age and the look to them you know like you can clean them up and make them look shiny and all that sort of thing but i think having them like that you know it shows where they've come from you know it shows their age it shows you know these are you know it's special items you know they're nice items but yeah quid quid for those which i think is pretty good also this was a big find i really loved this so I've sold one of these before, a Cracker Jack Nutcracker. I've sold one for 12 quid plus postage before, um, and that didn't include the box. But this one included the box, and I think I can get at least like 20 quid for this. Uh, paid 50p for it. I don't remember if I said that. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. It's in good condition. Um, yeah, I, I'm really happy with it. it, was, it this is actually better, than, better condition than the one that I got uh, previously. So there's that. Now I will show you this which was pretty good. Uh, this was actually the last thing that I brought today. Um, not the last thing that I'll show you. I'll show you something extra in a sec. Um, but yeah, it's a... Well, let you be the judge. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like a key. Like you put keys in here or anything in here, really. Uh, like a little sort of safe or heavy stuffs or something. I don't know, but just trapped my finger in it. But yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. I won't show you it, but it does have... Uh, it used to be part of a constable uh, service or something like that. Um, but yeah, Joma, I think that's like a security name, but the person wanted five for this, gone down to two pound. Uh, it was, they were packing up, so I think he's, he'd rather, you know, let me have it than pack it. Well, he'd rather not pack it, is what I mean. But yeah, uh, I was pretty pleased with that. It's something a bit different for me to sell. Um, but who doesn't want like a nice heavy duty? One of them. So I'll show you this last item. So this was actually the last thing that I got. Oh, the last thing, sorry, this is actually the last thing I'm showing you. Uh, this came in with the gun 
cigar box and that for a fiver. It's a CD, uh, you know, a little CD thing. Lovely wood on it, lovely wood. Obviously the scratches and all this. It does need a bit of repair to it. I'm not sure which side, but oh yeah, it's split down the side like that. So yeah, it's got a little, little come apart there. But I was thinking of just popping some glue on that, clamp it together and hopefully you can repair it. I was thinking this might be a nice thing on Depop. I feel like they're all into CDs and that on Depop. Uh, they all love that sort of thing. And this is like a nice retro looking piece that they might enjoy. But yeah, that's all the bits that I got today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed all the video. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because we really appreciate it. And if you haven't, then drop a like because it really helps us out. Let us know if you went to a car boot or anything in the comments below. And... We'll see you next time. I keep a photograph.